In this video I'll show you how to install the VirtualBox Guest Editions in Backtrack. To begin with we're going to go ahead and select Devices and then Install Guest Editions. Now, every once in a while you'll get the prompt and here it is. I've got an auto prompt that came up for the uh, VirtualBox Guest Editions CD. Now, I'm going to go ahead and hit Cancel on this one because oftentimes this does not come up and so I want to show you what to do without this. So I'll hit Cancel there. So to begin, I'm going to come down here to our K menu, go ahead and click on it, and then I'm going to choose System Menu and then Storage Media. And what we're going to look for, now you can see mine already recognized it. If yours does not recognize it, go ahead and hit the Refresh. And if you hit the Refresh, you should see your hard drive and you should see your CD-ROM. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to actually go for the CD-ROM. I want to find out where the CD-ROM is on my computer. And I want to run this from the terminal. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. I can see that it's in the media folder. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm going to go to the terminal. And I'm going to type in cd to change my directory. Space forward slash media. And hit enter. <clears throat> then I'm going to run the ls command. And you can see that I've got a cd-rom there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change my directory one more time to the cd-rom and then run the ls command one more time to see the contents of it. So here are my options. This is what's in the CD-ROM and I'm, to run this from the terminal I'm going to just go ahead and use the sh command. Now the one I want to choose to run is going to be this one called vbox linux editions run. So I'm going to go ahead and type in sh space capital V and if you hit the tab key it'll fill it in a little bit for you at a time. Capital L and then I'm going to hit the tab key one more time and that gives me the vbox linux editions dot run and so I'm now go to, gonna go ahead and hit enter and it's gonna run through and install the guest editions for me so I'm gonna go ahead and let this run for a few minutes until I get to the prompt where it says press return to close or to end my task and now after a few moments the VirtualBox guest editions have installed and you can see I'm back to the command prompt down here below and it does tell me if you look at the highlighted text here, you may need to restart the HAL service and the Windows system, or just restart the guest system to enable the guest edition. So that's what I'm going to do right now to show you how to complete this task. We're going to go ahead and type in reboot and hit enter. And this will conclude the task of installing the guest editions into Backtrack.